back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing an oil change on the Boxster, the base 2.7 liter. Um, I don't have a video up on this yet, so we'll go through the process and everything you need to do an oil change on it. Alright guys, so here's all the items you need for the oil change on this. Started off with the ratchet with an extension. That's an 8mm hex for the oil drain plug. You need the 74mm oil filter wrench. Um, here's the oil filter, an OX366D male. And then we definitely need the iCarsoft or something similar to reset the oil light. Um, I've used this on many of my Porsches. It works on 991s, 981s. Uh, 987s and 86s so it comes in handy for uh, resetting oil lights it can also reset uh, service lights as well um, then I also have these um, the crush washers you should replace the crush washer each time so we've got one of those and the OW40 mobile one definitely need that um, this is a little cheaper from Walmart if you buy a 12 quart box not as convenient because I got to measure it out but 60 bucks for 12 quarts is a pretty good deal, so I'll have some leftover for the next oil change. And I always make a mess, so have some uh, paper towels handy and the rubber gloves. So let's get to it. As you can see there, I've uh, already got it up on uh, the ramps, and then I also do uh, jack stands in the front. Get it level so it gets a nice drain. Um, get everything out of there, all the old oil. And then also you should... Uh, Remove the oil filler cap before you start. That'll give it a cleaner drain and a quicker drain. Take that off. So let's get under there and get this oil drained. All right guys, so right here is our oil drain plug. And we're gonna get our pan underneath. I'm notorious for making messes. <laughs> Let's see how big of a mess we make this time. Are you guys ready? Woo! There she blows. My towels. get too much on my cardboard better than my last oil change with the Bronco I did not have the oil pan in the right location all right we'll let that drain for like 10 minutes or so and then we'll get the uh, oil filter out and get the new filter in all right guys um, as you can see that oil filter housing is a little ways up there. Um, that's where we're gonna use that uh, um, extension. Um, so you can actually see, I don't know if you can see it on camera there, but uh, we also need a uh, torque wrench. I forgot to say that in the beginning with the tools that you need, because we're gonna actually torque the uh, oil pan drain plug and that housing. If you can see on that, it is 25 Newton meters, and if you do the math on that, it's 221 inch pounds or 18 and a half foot pounds. So we're going to torque that down once we get the new one in. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that out right now. All right guys, so the long extension wasn't quite long enough, so I added a shorter extension and the long one on there now. So now we have a better access here down below. Let's see how I want to get on there. That should be good. Okay. See if my drain pan's long enough to get both the filter and the drain plug that's still going. All right, she's loose now.
What did I say? I make messes when I do oil changes. <laughs> guys with the new oil filter comes a new housing o-ring so we're gonna put that on quick in that bigger groove right there. Just like that. All right. New oil filter going in. Got that in there like so. I got my torque wrench set to 222 inch pounds. All right, filter is in. Got all that oil cleaned up, I think, for the most part. So, if you can't hear it already, the Drain plug is still got a slight stream going, so we're gonna let that drain a little bit longer before we put the plug back in. All right, guys, done draining, ready for uh, 444 inch pounds on the drain plug or 37 foot pounds. Get that spun on there. pretty tight but yeah it, it does feel tight going on because it has to crush that new washer crush washer so just make sure you do the proper torques not any extra oil under here I think we're all set guys uh, now to go back up top and we'll put about seven and a half quarts in um, I don't want to go the 7.9 that it um, calls for just in case we didn't get all the oil out of here. You don't want to overfill it because it's a pain in the butt to get it back out. But uh, So we'll start with seven and a half quarts and then get her off the jack stands and ramps and check the oil level, make sure we're good there and get the oil light reset. So I have an extra jug of mobile one, that I, an empty one that I keep on hand because then I measure out four quarts here on this first jug and then I'll put three and a half in for the second one. Quarts. All right. So 
seven and a half quarts. We'll see what that does. We need to top it off a little bit afterwards we can. All right, so the process for uh, um, measuring the oil on these uh, Porsches is kind of a pain. No uh, physical dipstick, so you actually have to uh, heat up the car to operating temperature, which is oil temperature probably above 200 degrees, so drive it around a bit. Get it warmed up, come back, shut the engine off, make sure you're on a level surface, and then give it like two minutes. And then with the accessories on, you can go into the uh, menus and check the oil. So. We're gonna go do that after we get it off the ramps here. Okay guys, so I've driven about five miles here and as you can see my oil temp is up to 181. Um, so we're gonna go into the menus with the stock here. The base model has the uh, little stock right down here. Uh, so we're gonna go into, in, you know, push it back and then you've got a few different options. Vehicle info, oil measurement is where we wanna go. Push it in. And we are green, um, one little uh, tick below full. So um, that looks pretty good. I think I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm not gonna add any right now. And then uh, as I drive it, I'll just keep uh, checking it, see if it uh, stays in that upper area of the green. So to me, that looks perfect for uh, oil level. So we'll leave it there. And uh, now we'll uh, head back home here and we'll do the uh, oil lamp reset quick. Okay, we've got the iCar soft hooked up. We're going to go to the diagnose screen, hit OK. Or to Porsche, OK. Oil lamp reset, OK. And ignition is already on, OK. So we're going to do software reset there. And then go down to manual select, OK. And here's where we can select all the different uh, versions. Um, as you can see, we've got quite a few different options. But we are going to hit Boxster 981 right there. And as you can see, there's the VIN 2014. And here's the different services you can reset intermediate maintenance. You can do the intermediate and oil or main maintenance or all services. So um, we're just doing oil service. So we'll hit OK on that. So it says input the current date, for example. So we do 2016, so the year, and then year, month, and then the date. So that's the format they want. So we'll do 2, 0. If we can go, yep, we can go around the horn. 2, and then it's February right now, oh, two, and 20, and we'll go down to done. And there you go, maintenance interval successfully reset, so we're good for another year or uh, 10,000 miles, so just like that. So if you don't have yourself an iCar Soft, I would get one, guys. All right, guys, so that was the oil change on the uh, Boxster. So it's not too difficult. Um, it's just messy, especially if I'm doing it. <laughs> so I'm sure it could be done a lot cleaner, but uh, that's just the way it goes for me. But I appreciate you guys tuning in again. Um, we'll have some more videos coming up soon. Um, if you're looking for any of the tools or specs or anything, um, like for the iCar Soft, I'll have links down below in the description. So check that out. But uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next video, guys. Have a good one.